morning, guys. I am Mishi and welcome to Mixed Kids. I am so happy that you are watching this week. Last week, we learned that Jesus enjoyed the Last Supper and served communion to his disciples and that Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples, Judas. We also learned that even though communion was about Jesus dying, it was also about him living in us. This week, we are going to talk about Jesus praying. But before we get started with today's lesson, let me tell you who we are. We are a mix of people coming together to change lives and change the world. We want to give you guys fun and exciting ways to know God so that you can share with others. For the next two weeks, we're gonna talk about Easter. Easter is the Super Bowl for those who believe in Jesus. This is the day that we get to celebrate Jesus being alive. I have a few special friends that are going to help me with today's lesson. Let's take a look. Hi guys, so glad you're here. You're going to help us today to open up some more resurrection eggs. All right, are you All ready? Right. Yep. Okay, Leo, I want you to open up the first one, the, the light yellow egg for us. Okay, they led Jesus away and they had a trial for him, but they lied about him. And then they said that Jesus needed to be crucified. And the first thing they did was they put a crown, and this represents the crown, on Jesus' head. It wasn't a pretty crown like a king would wear, but they were making fun of him. But they made the crown out of stickers, out of thorns. You know the stickers that you find on rose bushes? Or the stickers that you have that you know that you might get a shot with okay they were long stickers they put it on that crown and they put that on jesus's head and then they bowed down to him and said hail king of the jews they were making fun of him that's not nice no all right let's let's get the yellow after they did that they put jesus's regular clothes back on him and they took him away they led him away to a hill called Golgotha where they crucified him. They took the nails and they put them in the in his hands and his feet. And the, this cross that you're looking at, the cross that you're looking at has is three different nails. One, two, three. Okay? And they nailed him on the cross because the people said, crucify him, crucify him. They did that because that because they didn't know that Jesus was was God, all right? And that Jesus loved us so much that he was willing to go on the cross for us. Well, that's all the eggs we can open today. You have to stay tuned to Mix Kids and watch on the YouTube and see what happens next, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Bonnie has something for you. Hello. Hello. There's little marks, names on them so that you know who gets what, but there's also something in there for Frank. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Wow. Such great surprises inside of those eggs, right? The light yellow egg had a crown of thorns, which was placed on Jesus's head to tease him. That wasn't very nice. The dark yellow egg had nails inside, which were used to nail Jesus's hands to the cross. Yeah, that's, I know, it's sad. How many of you guys like going through a hard day? Who gets excited when sad news comes? Who enjoys being afraid, not when you're watching a scary movie, but in real life? No one likes feeling those emotions, do they? Fear and sadness are two things we all want to avoid as much as possible. Like it or not, we all have days when we are sad, afraid, lonely, upset, or any other negative emotion. We want nothing more than for those bad feelings to go away so that we can be happy again. If you see in those sad times, God can grow our faith. 
When we go to Jesus without sadness and fears, He may not take the feelings away immediately, but He will help us grow in our faith. Prayer is what helps us grow. And the more we pray, the more our faith grows. When we pray sad times and sad times, we learn to rely on Jesus more and more. He will be our strength in hard times and He will give us the courage to carry on. Jesus is the Son of God who came to die for our sins, but Jesus was also human. He needed comfort for his fears and his sadness, just like we do. When you feel sad, pray and God will be near you. God will comfort you and God will use those hard times to help you grow stronger in your feet. Let's take a look. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. This is Jesus. hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Jesus was in Jerusalem with His disciples for the Passover. Passover was a festival that the Jewish people had celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus knew the time had come for him to die, as the scriptures had said long ago. So he went with his disciples to an olive grove called Gethsemane. And Jesus said, sit here while I go to pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him and he was very distressed and troubled. He asked them to stay with him and keep watch, meaning he wanted them to stay awake with him. Got it. He went a little farther on and prayed. He cried out, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me, yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened Jesus. Then Jesus prayed even harder and was suffering greatly. He went back to his disciples and they were all asleep. Uh, hello? He said to Peter, couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. And then Jesus left them again to pray, the same as he did before. He went back to the disciples after he had prayed and found them sleeping again. Uh, hmm. The disciples didn't know what to say. So Jesus went away a third time, praying the same things again. When he went back to his disciples, he said, Go ahead and sleep. But look, the time has come. For Judas, the disciple who was betraying Jesus, was coming with men to arrest Jesus. Judas showed them who Jesus was and they arrested him. Jesus was taken and put to death on a cross to save us from our sins. But three days later, he rose from the grave. Huh? hey -oh. ah! He is alive. He stayed with his disciples for 40 days and then went to heaven. See ya. God then sent the Holy Spirit to be the helper as God's people go out and tell the good news of Jesus to all the people of the world. Jesus came to save us from our sins, just as God promised. He would defeat sin and make a way for all of us to be reunited with him forever. But there was a terrible price to pay to make that happen. Jesus would have to die on the cross. There was no more painful, more horrible way to die than crucifixion before or after Jesus came. And even though Jesus knew this was his mission, he was human and he was afraid. Jesus felt scared, alone, and troubled. He was sad because his friend Judas was the one who betrayed him. I know, that's, that's sad, right? 
He was sad because he knew that he would have to endure a terrible death pain all over. Jesus went to pray to find comfort in his sadness. He knew he couldn't change what was going to happen, but he also knew that prayer would give him the strength and the comfort that he needed. Jesus showed us that when we are sad or afraid or troubled in any way, we can run to him in prayer and he will give us strength. Our memory verse for this week says, Greater love has no one more than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. John 15 and 13. Awesome job. <laughs> Before we go, let's sing and dance to He's Alive, Oh Yeah, by Grace Kids Production. Did you get videos or pictures of your worship to God? We would love to see. Have your parents send those pictures or videos to our Instagram page at the mix underscore church. Becoming a part of God's family is a great decision to make. So if you're interest, interested and you wanna get details or have a better understanding of how to become a part of God's family, have your parents send us an email at mixkids@themixchurch.com. Now, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to hear your word today. Thank you for showing us how to pray during hard times. Thank you for giving us the comfort of knowing that you hear us when we pray and that no matter how big or how small, you will answer. Help us not to fear and allow for us to always bring our desires to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Awesome job, guys. We'll see you next week.